right, everybody on the hunt again for more um, Transformers toys. Did not get any last time. They really didn't have anything. But apparently the street date was Friday and not on Monday like I thought it was supposed to be. So um, hopefully they have some stuff this time. I think the online date was on Monday. So uh, we'll see if we have any luck. I warn you guys now, this is gonna be super uh, boring compared to the last one. Okay, so they're restocking the shelves right now, so I'm gonna hold up a bit. Look at this here, I can't tell if this is supposed to be battle damaged or if it's just a crappy toy. Like, oh yeah, battle damage. Let's see, like, Captain America, I don't know what's on his face. That looks like, it's like black stuff. Doesn't even go like dirt. It's weird. Here we go, they have stuff. These boxes actually look smaller in person than I thought they would. See, this is Berserker with no head. That should not have passed inspection. <laughs> There's Bumblebee. And as you guys have noticed, I am a lot quieter when I'm by myself. <laughs> Especially because it's like the middle of the day, there's like a ton of people here. So here are all the deluxes. Of course, we saw this last time. And then here is Voyager Optimus Prime, which actually looks pretty good in person. A lot better than I thought it would actually. There's Grace Protector. That's where the Quintessons come along. And I gotta say, this... Bumblebee is just so ugly. Can't wait until the wave three comes out. But I think this is so funny. <laughs> that does not have a head. That should definitely not be on the shelf. So is there an actual berserker that does have a head? This is on. Oh, here's the top of the box there. We've got drift. I've not seen Drift in much of the promotions yet. Okay, definitely getting barricaded. So the only Berserker they have does not have a head, so we'll not be getting that one. Okay, so I'm getting this. Saw these at Target last time. Turbo changers. I was, I was calling them turbo chargers last time. Not a huge selection. And then there's also these up here. Man, these are $15? You gotta be kidding me. There's deluxes used to be this much. This is ridiculous with the price hikes, guys. This is, man. Right, so, I'm tempted to get this, but I don't think I'm just gonna wait and get that masterpiece that comes out, save up for that, because that was really cool looking. Although, this is definitely impressing me a lot more in person. Wave 1's not the best. Can't wait until Wave 2, Megatron and Hound. Oh, I missed this as well. Got Optimus. Another Turbo Changer. It's actually not that bad looking. There's Hound. And I think we just have Bumblebee and then that's it. So we check that out there. And again guys, sorry that I'm not so energetic as I was last time because I'm a lot better when I'm filming with someone else and like less embarrassed, but you know. Oh, I've been also, we saw these things last time as well. Ditch. Such a weird mask. But so we got that along with Grimlock. And we probably have Bumblebee back there as well, but I'm not gonna look because I saw that before. You guys have too. So that's just crazy how he has no head. I mean, <laughs> how does that pass through? That is crazy. See, maybe that's some foreshadowing of what's gonna happen in the movie. Could be. Organize this because they were just like restocking when I walked in, so make it nice and 
tighten. There we go. Leave things the way you saw them. We'll just get a better look at this too while we're at it. Did not get on the side there. See, pretty cool packaging. But at $80, that is way too much. Actually, almost missed something. These are uh, little role play things. Got a sword and shield. Has battle sounds. Pretty cool for the young kids. Optimus there, and we have Bumblebee. So those are there for the young kids out there, or the adults that like that stuff. I'm not judging. <laughs> okay, so we actually got something this time. I know this video is like super lame compared to the last one, but the difference is this time we have Barricade. Super excited. Um, so this is the second barricade toy I got. I got one from the Dark of the Moon line as well. So I'm going to be opening up this when I get home and show you guys all the packaging and stuff. Okay, everybody, we're going to try and do this like a legit toy review, except a lot quicker and with less detail. Um, so here is Deluxe, uh, Deluxe Class Barricade. Um, we got Transformers on the side there. Deluxe Class. All that cool stuff there. You can see me in the reflection right there. <laughs> um, really awesome barricade design on the box. It's got Sinister Trickster. I'm not sure what that could imply um, as far as barricade, but um, there he is on the box. And so let's go ahead and open this up. Oh yeah, and also uh, there's Berserker, Megatron, and Barricade there on the top. So we actually have tape to get here, so... Different than the typical deluxe class boxes that we've seen in the past, which you've had to tear open. And that just comes out, okay. So here is Barricade and the instructions right there. Here is Barricade, and he is actually a pretty decent looking figure. Bring his arm down there. Okay, there we go. So there he is. Um, got the little bit of a backpack on the back, but I've, I've actually seen some people use it as a riot shield. Actually, go ahead and take it off. Um, but there he is, actually looking pretty good, pretty screen accurate, other than, you know, the Mustang not having the licensing. But, um, there is him close up. Got the four eyes, pretty good detail. And, um, I'm actually liking this one. Got protect and serve on the knuckles which there we go there's protect and serve so cool stuff there let's go ahead and transform Okay, and here is the police car mode, which took me a little bit longer to transform than I thought it would because I kind of screwed up. But, um, pretty cool. Too bad they didn't have the licensing with Ford. And no spoiler on the back as well, like in the movie. But, um, overall, it's a pretty cool figure. And, um, of course it's got to punish and enslave there, the typical barricade motto. And that is it, so pretty cool figure rolls there and um so yeah that'll just about do it for this video um awesome that i was able to find some stuff today and until next time i'm mike see you guys